morning everyone so today we are coming with a very interesting lecture okay so many people is asking me in arcgis pro usually we have a base maps for one time but suppose you want to see some past time image which you want as a base maps then how can you will going to add that as your base maps and you can uh, able to work with the present bit map base maps also okay so this will be useful for uh, various analysis mostly for the urban area certain area you want to see the changes over in a very high resolution image okay so that both image both base maps you can open together in arcgis pro and you can show them uh, you can show together okay so let's see how we'll going to do that so uh, I will just open ArcGIS Pro. You see here ArcGIS Pro. There is a certain uh, present base maps is already available. So suppose I want to find out a certain area where it is change uh, certain. Okay. So uh, if you go in the map, suppose, and we have the locate. So I'm just going to show you what the Varanasi I showed you already before in IC way back imagery. The same things which we're going to show you here. Okay. But how we're going to take that particular layer from IC way back imagery to ArcGIS Pro? Just see. it will be very useful for everyone okay so i'm just typing a location yeah varanasi uttar pradesh okay okay so this is a varanasi uttar pradesh locations why i'm taking this because there is a certain change if you see this is the corridor of uh, uh, that particular temple okay vishnu temple to that uh, ganga river so it was cleaned in last uh, You can say five years is a huge change on this particular thing area. Okay, so here this is my present base maps. Now I just open the website which is our is the World Imagery Wayback, which is a free platforms where you can just open it. Okay, so find your locations here also. Where am I? Suppose. Okay, so now this is a 23 image. So I'm just a little bit of zooming in this particular locations. Yeah, this is the place where this changes happens. Okay, so this is uh, suppose the year of 2023. Okay, just little adjust. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, for the 2023. So let's go to 2017 or something. Let's see how it is looking that time. Okay, so this is the image, but this is not that much good. Yeah. So this is something a uh, preview image of 2019, or you can say 2019-12. Okay, so this is how it is looking. Okay, so if you want these base maps in your ArcGIS Pro, then simply click over here. Okay. Now. in this place what you need to do you need to copy this path address okay so just simply copy it okay yeah now come back to this arcgis pro okay and you can simply paste the link suppose if i go in a data okay and i can simply click on data from the path okay and i will simply paste this and then simply click on add and see now you will get the exact locations of that particular time of map so if you double click on this just see i will go back to this location and play the move the full one and now you open the present map and see the changes okay so if you want to swipe and you can swipe it also like here you have the tile layer click on the swipe tools and you can see the changes how it is changing in last few years okay so if you click the flicker also you can also. so anyone who are going to use uh, this type of uh, uh, analysis they are doing for a certain city parts okay and you want a base maps of a certain area okay where there is a huge changes in last few years so you can take our uh, uh, this type of base maps from our history uh, way back images 
now uh, as you visible uh, that here uh, here we are already having the two different time image so if you see here this is the uh, 2023 image and this is uh, uh, 2019 image and now if you want to uh, see only the change area of this particular locations okay there is a certain tool which you can use and identifying uh, this change area so to doing that first is you have to select the imagery and you can come to this style not tile sorry imagery and under the imagery you have a change direction options so you can click on the change direction wizard and you will get this particular uh, templates okay so there you have to give uh, the input of those image okay so what is the changes from 2019 to 2023 okay so what are the changes which has happened okay so if i want to see so i will just going to uh, give that information okay i think that uh, link was lost yes so this is the image okay so if you see here for you can't select from there because you have to save this image okay so i forget to tell so how will you want to save this particular informations so uh, basically you want to select this okay then go to the share okay and here you have to click on the map export and you have to select in a geotiff okay so here whatever the area of extents you want to see the changes that simply uh, save it save it in a got format okay so that only i selected okay so now once you uh, converted the selected area in a got you can come back to uh, this okay so this is not a exactly uh, means a proper way to do identifying the change directions as i am telling you usually we do we do it uh, over a proper multispectral image but here it is not actually the exact multispectral image we, it is a simple rgb of the jpeg so which i am just converted in a tiff okay uh, so you will not get exactly any value for this particular but yes what what i feel uh, when i try with the change directions wizards it's working okay so uh, if you want to see the certain changes okay for the, some sort uh, particular area suppose there is a cyclone or earthquake of any any location of the city okay so and you want to see the change area only which you want to present to in front of the management then definitely you can use at least this particular process okay so i will go with uh, suppose that particular dates 2019 to 2023 okay so it is a huge area uh, means uh, not a huge area means a big image so resolution is high so anyway i am just going to select this two because i i cropped it means whatever the area i want when i export it now so only this much area will going to export okay so it will be in a full extent so i'm just going to the next okay so this is single band differences bank differences i just only want okay so you have various options but band i am not selecting any band index so if you are going for the index then you can go for the index but this is just a single band difference as whatever you are found so simply uh, switch off this one and click on the next and run and let's see the output how it is coming and see this is the outputs which you find here so but if you want to change the color and you want to see how much area is changed so you can use this and you see the change area you will find so usually i am taking it uh, for uh, this way back imagery see in between few buildings are already uh, damaged so that's why it is coming little bit of this side area in this but if you are taking some image which is where there is a totally building in this particular area so then this change area will be much more prominent okay so that's all from my side so i hope you like this video means how we'll uh, take a data from two different year image which you've seen here 2019 and this is 2023 image okay which i taken from our um, way app imagery the link and then how we'll take it in arcgis pro and we, how we'll going to find a certain change area in the city okay this is very useful for suppose the cyclone after cyclone there is identifications of those change area or uh, there is earthquake after earthquake the cities have certain area whatever the area is, is actually changed so you can go with these techniques which will be very useful for you thank you thank you very much
so i will request if you like uh, my video okay so please subscribe my channel and share this video to our others okay and uh, please give on your comments in my comment box so that i can go with more such videos like this thank you thank you very much thank you all